I'm here with Matt Mansis. Okay, so, uh, why did you take the graphic novel course at Masco? Uh, it was the best option, I thought, out of, out of the three, because uh, it seemed more interesting and, uh, all that. So I took the graphic novel course at Masco because it seemed more interesting and more helpful in life than something like gothic literature or global lit. I didn't really have an interest in that. I like superhero movies. And I like superheroes like Adam Brown. Like it was, right. you know, a different kind of English class rather than, you know, going in, and word after word, you know, you get some pictures thrown in there. He said, interesting. Thought it would be a good change from traditional films. Um, I took the graphic novel course, I'm a visual guy. Uh, not really a fan of comics, but just didn't want to take poetry or the gothic classes. What kind of stories did you read in the graphic novel classroom? Um, well, at the beginning, we, really, we read uh, kind of like how to read graphic novel books, like uh, Scott McCloud. Then we moved into things like Persepolis. But before that, we had Blue Eisner books. So and then we moved on to the superhero unit. Starring Adam Brown. Comedy, well, kind of comedies like ABC, Batman, classic superhero, uh, and then Persepolis, which is kind of like a biography. Um, stories about superheroes and like just different stories. Uh, I'd say my favorite was V for Vendetta because it had like a deeper meaning behind it. Uh, not graphic novels or comics, the ones we read were very descriptive, so that we could put them into graphic novels. Stories about, like, father-son relationships and, uh, how to read comic books. What kind of stories did you tell in the graphic novel classroom? Uh, well, we had to write a memoir about an event in our lives that we both wrote and drew. Me kind of separating myself from the little story I told was about my memoir. I did about a hockey game I was in. Then uh, after we made the uh, the books, we uh, made them into comics. What kind of stories did I write about? Well, I wrote about a, a memoir about the time I broke my wrist falling out of a tree. <laughs> Adam pushed me out of it. <laughs> Not true. True story. Uh, what did you find easy and or enjoyable about the graphic novel course? The fact that you have to do as very little work as possible to pass the class. Alright, I don't think this big will prove that, but okay. I enjoyed that we uh, watched movies and compared them to the graphic novels we were uh, we were reading before and how we compared them. Reading, reading, uh, reading the novels and stuff was easy because it helped my interest more than any other, like, just textbooks. What skills or materials did you find challenging or difficult in the graphic novel course? Uh, that would definitely be Scott McCloud, I'd say. Um, figuring out what maybe closure is a little difficult at the beginning when finding out the terms and whatnot. When it came to reading and all that stuff, pretty easy once you learn the terms and the closure and got all the basics down, fundamentals of graphic novel reading. Uh, what did you learn about comics and visual storytelling in the graphic novel classroom that you could easily learn anywhere else? Well, thanks to good old Scott McLeod, uh, we read Understanding Comics, which uh, uh, describes like all aspects and techniques comics use to like, tell stories. Yeah, like, images can be just important as texts, but you like you don't want to have too many pictures, you not too many words. When you have a good balance, it can you can read what you want. So like you can imagine how you want, but at the same time it still kinda of gives you a basis for what it looks like. Everything. Because I didn't know anything. This Bacus is like a modern day Albert Einstein when it comes to graphic novels. An actual author in the classroom who has her own book. Where do you find that? learn about reading and reading visual texts in the graphic novel classroom? Um, it's not just simple as just reading uh, pictures. It's uh, more than that you have to make the story. Reading text and reading pictures is like completely different, even though you think they're kind of like the same, but there, there's different ways you have to, different 
boys you have to come at it. Um, I learned uh, all different stuff. I learned uh, how di it was different from like 400 page novels. I just enjoyed uh, reading these better. It wasn't just a boring page with words on words or pictures in it. In what ways did you use technology to help you learn about graphic novels in the graphic novel classroom? Well, we did the, uh, the blogs and stuff like that to post our uh, summaries and uh, question answering of books like the, uh, the American Born Chinese and uh, I believe, uh, what was the other one? Mouse. Mouse. That was the one. Mouse. Uh, we used online discussion boards to talk about different uh, books and discuss what we thought. At times we use online discussion boards and we even talked with the middle schoolers, which is interesting. And I had never done that before, but it's kind of fun. What words of wisdom would you like to share with others about the graphic novel course? The graphic, no the graphic novel class as a whole was awesome. I mean, it was just better. Who wants to take AP English? That's, that's like being put into a prison now. It's just not fun. Graphic novels are fun. Uh, graphic novels aren't really just for kids, and they can be more deep than just uh, superhero comic books. Well, I suggest everyone to take it, like both guys and girls, because I don't know, it seems like a guy's class, but it's still like interesting. It's pretty good. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful classroom. Beautiful people. Beautiful. Take it to the beat. Take it to the beat. When you freak to the beat.